Hey, what's up, nerds? Paul here at Radio Free Hammer Hall, and today we're doing a rundown of the top five endless spells for Cities of Sigmar. So, why are we talking about this? Well, one of the Allegiance abilities for Cities of Sigmar is that all spells are always treated as being empowered by their home realm. So if you are empowered by Shyish, then you get that empowered ability, etc. Also, one of our cities, Hallowheart, has a lot of casting bonuses. Hallowheart also has a command trait that gives you plus three to dispel endless spells. The Darkling Coven Sorceress has a native plus two to cast ability on her War Scroll. The Celestial Hurricanum has a plus one to cast on its War Scroll, and it projects out a 10-inch bubble of plus one to cast for other Collegiate Arcane Wizards. And then we have Stormcast Wizards that are available, as well as Sylvaneth Wizards available in the Living City. So there's a lot here to unpack for all of the different abilities that we have pertaining to to endless spells so i just wanted to hit the highlights of the ones that i think are going to be most impactful in gameplay going forward and naturally i'm sure somebody's going to pull something out that i am missing but for right now these are the top five for me the ones that i think are going to be best used in cities of sigmar number five the purple son of shyish so, this casts on an 8, which is traditionally a very hard casting value to hit. But if you are playing with a sorceress, or if you are uh, playing in Hollow Heart, then you have plenty of bonuses to cast floating around to help get that casting value of 8 down. So what does this spell do? All of the units that it passes across, or it end or are within an inch of it when its move ends you roll a d6 for each model in the unit on a six up it, that model is slain so it's a very powerful ability and what happens when it is empowered by shyish its move changes from nine inches to 12 inches so you have that many more units that it's going to be passing across and touching in order to be dealing out lots of model slaying. Very, very powerful spell, and the ability to buff up all that casting really makes it much more potent. Number four. The Soul Scream Bridge. So this allows you to basically teleport units from one end of the bridge to the other, the bridge, the two halves of the bridge are ordinarily placed wholly within 12 inches of each other. However, when they are empowered by Shyish, it goes to 24 inches that they can be placed from each other. That gives you a massive, massive range to be able to be transporting your units around the battlefield. And it only has a casting value of 6. So this is going to be a really easy one to get set up, especially with casting buffs. And you can easily unbot or dispel this and then set it back up in a more convenient location later in the game. Really powerful endless spell here, especially for a lot of Cities of Sigmar units. We have a lot of shooting units that benefit from not moving and... When moving across the bridge, it counts as a setup, not a move. So all of, say, your Iron Drakes and handgunners and crossbows, those all still count as having not moved that turn. So they're still getting their extra buffs for standing still. In addition, we have a whole plethora of units that get buffs for their charges so this can easily set up a nice charge with a very powerful unit with some buffs to your charges, getting in a 
big hammer unit into your opponent's front lines on the first turn. Number three. Ah, the old Bailwind Vortex. This one never ceases to be good. So it extends a wizard's spell range by six inches. It can cast an additional spell, and it gives plus one to save for the wizard riding on top. Now, this is absolutely fantastic for Cities of Sigmar. There are a lot of spells in here that are already at 18 inch range, extending them to 24 makes them bonkers. We also have some that include counting models within range of the spell and the increase in range by six inches also applies to that. Being able to cast additional spells is also very powerful. We don't have, I don't think any wizards that natively cast two spells a turn but this will allow you to get that extra spell and in hallow heart of course this gets you a third spell on your wizards in addition to all of the buffs that you can get in hallow heart so this is extremely powerful especially in combination with one that we will be talking about later on so number two a little surprise one here, not one of the generics. This is the Everblaze Comet. This is one of the Stormcast Endless Spells. Now, because of the way all of the Allegiance abilities in Cities of Sigmar work, that means that your Stormcast Eternals are getting the same buffs as the rest of your city units. So, when you have Stormcast Eternals Wizards in Hallowheart... They can be taken in the Battalion, and they get all of the other benefits from Hallowheart. So you get some very rare casting bonuses for your Stormcast Eternals. That means that the casting value of 6 on this Comet becomes much easier. And then with the Command trait that gives you plus 3 to unbind, it makes it very easy to pick that Comet back up in your hero phase and cast it once again so this is very powerful particularly when it first comes down but really what this lets you do is the comet comes down does its additional mortal wounds it gets its second round of mortal wounds during the start of the battle round and then you pick it back up and you do the big round of wounds again this is absolutely uh, just tremendously powerful. And you can take this for the low, low price of 140 points of a Knight in Cantor, which also comes with a Dispel Scroll to stop one of those uh, pesky enemy spells that they might try and sneak through. So this is extremely powerful, does a lot of mortal wounds to your enemy, and is generally going to be terrifying for them. And number one, the best, without question, hands down, endless spell for Cities of Sigmar. The Umbral Spell Portal. So, when this is empowered by Ulgu, rather than setting up your second umbral spell portal within 12 inches i'm sorry within 18 inches of the first you can set it up anywhere on the battlefield anywhere on the battlefield this also has a casting value of five so it's very easy to get down very easy to pick it back up again after if you choose to dispel it and recast this lets you Basically, take one of your wizards and have whatever your most powerful or most useful spell is and cast it anywhere on the battlefield. No range consideration whatsoever. You are just dropping down the spell portal and then dropping your favorite spell through the portal. There's a lot of very powerful, aggressive spells that we have access to. There's a lot of great buffs and debuffs 
There's so many options here. And this just lets you cast spells anywhere on the battlefield. So definitely my number one. This has so far been an endless spell that only pops up once in a while, but I think this is going to be a very, very common appearance in Cities of Sigmar armies. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching, everyone. Do not forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe to see more. If you're really excited about seeing more, hit that notification bell as well. And don't forget that we have started a Patreon for the page as well. So all of our Patreon proceeds, 100% of the proceeds from Patreon are being reinvested into the channel to improve the quality of our content for you, the viewers. So link for the Patreon down below, and we hope to see you again soon.